okay, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings nerd. So I, I, I'm, I'm picturing all of you now as graduates. You are literally on the edge of the Shire. You know, it's kind of like Frodo and Sam, and you're, you're dragging your fingertips over fresh corn and wheat, and you're moving away from the familiar and the comfortable, and it's a little scary. Once in a while, you feel like you hear elvish song in the forest ahead, and you're drawn to that. But it's a nerve-wracking moment, isn't it? Carolyn Painter, you shared so beautifully that, that sense of, like, you're already missing Colby. There's certainly security. I mean, another Lord of the Rings image, right? Actually from The Hobbit. Bilbo Baggins, quite comfortable where he was in his Hobbit hole, right? Nice and clean, a full pantry. Everything's predictable and everything's comfortable. But suddenly the dwarves come in and they just start wrecking stuff. Okay, the summer ahead, the years ahead might feel like a bunch of dwarves coming in. But when Bilbo opens up his own heart, opens those sails, unfurls them that night before the roaring fire. And you all remember this if you saw or read The Hobbit, when the dwarves whip out the flutes, right? And they whip out the harps and they start singing. And please, graduates, sing along with me. Far over the misty mountains cold to dungeons deep and caverns old i know you're singing with me we must away ere break of day to find our long forgotten gold that music was what moved mr baggins that unsettled him and stirred him to run forgetting his handkerchief leaping over the fence saying i'm going on an adventure and this is all of you. The longing is stirring, and it's never going to go away. I want you to listen to it. I want you to get unsettled. I want you to let it pull you out of yourself. 